Hey, what's going on, Electronics? I've got a couple of you guys who are still having some issues with um, resistor color code. So we're just going to do a quick little review lesson here. And we're going to look at like the, the sheet that we have the, the question on. So first of all, you need to find your metric, prefix, and resistor code um, reference sheet which is under unit zero, 0 0.3 reference sheets. So you're gonna find that first. Up top here, we have a reference for our metric prefixes. And then down below, we have the chart for the resistors. So again, when we look at resistors, the gold is always gonna be the fourth one on the far right. Hey, how you doing? Um, and then we have three stripes that are gonna to be to the left of that. The first stripe is going to be the first band. The second stripe will be the second band. And then the multiplier is going to be the third stripe. So let's take a look at this example over here on the left. Our first color is brown. Our second color is black. And our third color is red. So when we come over here and we look and we say, okay, oops, um, brown we find brown and underneath the first band it says that this is equal to a one so we're going to say one then we look at the next and it says black second band for black is equal to zero so we're going to write a zero those two numbers get combined together they turn into a 10. then for the red we're going to come to the third band which is your multiplier we're going to find red and this is going to be times 100. So 10 times 100 is equal to 1,000, okay? So inside of here, we're going to say 10 times 100 is equal to 1,000, and we're going to copy and paste the ohm symbol. And we're going to do our metric prefix stuff. So because this number is outside of the, um, it's greater than 1, but it is less than, or uh, it, it's, it's not less than a thousand and it's, it's greater than one. So we have to do a conversion factor here. Um, so because this number is bigger, we know we need to go up. We're gonna go by one, two, three places. So we're gonna say one, we've gone up three places. So it becomes kilo ohm. Okay, so let's work on the second one here. This is a red, red, red. So when we look at red for the first stripe, its value is equal to two. When we look at red for the second stripe, its value is equal to two. We're gonna multiply that by a red stripe again, which the multiplier is equal to 100. That is equal to 2,200 ohms, right? 22 times 100 is 2,200. And again, because it's greater than 1,000, we're gonna go up on the list we're gonna go one, two, three over. That leaves us with 2.2, which is between one and 999. So we're done converting. Now we pick our symbol, which again, is going to be a kilo and then ohm. Let's look at the bottom half of this. Down here, we're converting from a metric prefix to a base to the stripes. So 4.7 kilo ohms, because it's a kilo, we're going to multiply 4.7 times 1,000. So that's equal to 4,700 ohms. So we're going to come down here and we're going to figure out, okay, number four, find four in your first stripe column, that's equal to a yellow. Seven in the second stripe column is equal to a violet. And the third stripe, so when we go through this process here, we want to separate out the first two numbers from the rest. So here we have two zeros. Over here, we find the multiplier with two zeros, which is equal to red. So this is equal to red. And then this is going to be gold. Let's try 10 real quick here. So 10 doesn't get converted because it's between one and less than a thousand. So we're just gonna say 10 ohms. To, again, we need to separate out the first two numbers from the rest. There are no other numbers here, okay? So when we go through this process, we're gonna say one is equal to brown. 
two uh, or zero rather is equal to black. Because there's no multipliers, we're just going to multiply 10 times 1. And the multiplier for 1 is simply a black again. Okay, so there are two examples of how to do this activity um, on both ends here. So hopefully this will help you guys get through this and get it submitted. All right, email me with questions. Bye-bye.